Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Avery here, as you can see. I'm in my backyard, pond is behind me, and today is the day I have pretty much been waiting for all fall. It is early fall still, but I've been waiting patiently, and that is trout pickup day. So uh, last year when we were kind of establishing an ecosystem for our pond, we decided that we would stock it with some rainbow trout. We found a farm two hours away where they bagged the fish. We got some decent sized rainbow trout and we basically ice fished them hard uh, throughout the winter. We kept a whole bunch and now we decided we were going to restock the pond this fall. But the catch is we found a place that is a lot closer to home, only half an hour instead of two hours away. But the thing is, they do not bag the fish. So we've got a setup here um, that Dad knows a bit more than I do because he's been doing a lot of research on stocking trout in our pond. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, show Dad and his little setup that he has created. Okay, so really quick, we have to go because we're gonna be late. Um, how are we transporting the fish? We got this IBC container um, off of Kijiji, which is just like a classified ads. So typically on these containers, they put canola oil and stuff in them. And then if you buy a used one, there was like this big, long, lengthy process to clean it out and, and get all the oil and everything out of it, which I wasn't down with. So we were gonna abandon this idea. And then we found uh, some folks not too far from here that were actually using a bunch of these uh, as a cistern um, to have water in their house uh, that they were building. They didn't have municipal water yet. They needed some way to have water. So uh, yeah, this was, they bought this brand new. It was, it's never had any chemicals, any canola oil, any nothing in them. They're typically like hundreds and hundreds of dollars and we paid 60 bucks for this. So we were pretty stoked about that. This wouldn't be a great option for trout in the summer because it's not insulated. Um, and if it's like 30 degrees outside, 30 degrees Celsius, and you've got a bit of a trip, it's not gonna insulate it from the heat of the sun and the water might warm up too much, kill your trout, but it is mid, late October right now uh, and it's not very warm outside, so they'll be totally fine. I hope, we're gonna find out in this bad boy. So that cost us 60 bucks, which is pretty sweet. We had uh, a bunch of aerators left over from my son. He had a massive fish tank in our last house. We have not set it up in this house yet. We have a couple of these. We're gonna try just with one for now. Um, but we have an aerator, which we ran the hoses up to a stone inside the tank to give them lots of oxygen. Again, it's only 30 minutes, so that should be fine. Um, the original plan was to use a trailer and we went through all this uh, extravagant setup with, we used, a, we grabbed a Dakota lithium battery out of Avery's boat and we got these little wires here so that we could hook up the little old school cigarette lighter to this little inverter, which then ran our pumps and we practiced running two pumps. It ran them no problem for a long period of time on this battery. We could literally run for hours and hours and hours. And this is gonna be in a big utility trailer and we were gonna do it that way. Um, but then we bought a truck and I didn't wanna haul around a utility trailer. So we decided just to run it right into the truck and there's a little 120 volt outlet in the back of our truck. But we are gonna bring the inverter um, system and the Dakota lithium battery just on the off chance that maybe we were blowing fuses inside the truck or something like that. And, and it isn't able to run the aerators. We have to pull over, hook this up. We have kind of a backup system um, to keep the trout alive. Yeah, super stoked. We found a place nearby and Avery and I are about to jump in the truck and drive out there and meet them, say hello, check out their trout and stock our pond for some winter ice fishing. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. Avery. Let's get going. All right, I'm here with Lynn at Gehring's Fish Farm and uh, we are picking up the trout now. I'm super excited to be here. Can't wait to get some rainbows in the tank. I want to know all about your operation here. So what is the tank and the ponds behind us? Just give me the down low. All right, so this tank is what we call one of our shipping tanks. Uh, we grade the fish into it and then we ship out of here every week live or for processing. Uh, we've got five ponds below us, uh, all with, uh, there's 40,000 uh, fish down there right now that are anywhere from three quarters of a pound to two pounds. The ponds are about 120 feet long, four feet deep, 30 to 40 feet wide. Water flows through them 
24 seven year round and uh, no ice. We just keep doing the same thing all winter and all summer, it's the same. So who are your typical customers? Like who do you sell all your fish to? Well, we, we sell a lot to pond stocking people like yourselves. Yep. Uh, we do have some customers that take uh, whole fish uh, on ice for processing. Uh, we ship live fish, uh, like I said earlier, uh, 2,500 pounds we can haul live at a time. Uh, sometimes it's smaller amounts, but uh, that's primarily what we do. So we're, we don't direct sell to the end market. We're, we sell to people that process or take live. All right, so today we are getting fish that are around two and a quarter to two and a half pounds. So what size do you typically sell to like people like me or other customers? Usually from a pound and a half to three pounds is kind of our target. Sometimes we'll get over three pounds, but we typically don't sell below a pound and a half. It just doesn't make sense for us to, to sell that size. And you don't hatch here, right? You just right. get fingerlings? That's right. We buy our fingerlings from a hatchery mm -hmm. and they're usually 30 grams when we get them. And it'll take us about 12 months and we'll have two and a half pound fish. So how old are the fish that, I, that we're getting today? These are about a year and a half old. Year and a half? Yeah. How do people get in touch with you if they want to stock a pond or buy processed fish? Well, like you did, you can find us on the internet, mm -hmm. but uh, the phone, you know, word of mouth, we've developed quite a following over the 40 years we've been doing this so it's a long time uh, yeah it is and uh, uh but primarily phone you know we we just they call the number 519-879-6511 and uh the email or like i said internet so are you gonna get up on the truck and i'll net a few and put them up here and you dump them in okay that works is that how you want to do it yep all right, so he's scooping them, Lynn's scooping them right now, and I'm just going to dump them into the tank that we've got here on the back of our truck. We've got two fish right now. Okay, like this. Like that, right? Fourteen. Yep. Fourteen. That'll be seven. Seventeen. All right. So I'm scooping the last fish. I have to find the perfect fish. Apparently, I want a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one here too. They're all big. I can't choose. There. I got one in the net. Oh, he's a little though. Oh, I'm getting soaked. They're fast, man. I got a couple. I only want one, guys. I only want one. Got it. I got two on action. Do you want to put them in this net? Sure. That way they won't get out on us. All right, you jump up there. Last two fish. There we go. You're loaded. I'm completely <laughs> soaked now, but we got the fish in the bucket. Well, it's not a bucket, the container, transportation container. Thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> Glad to meet you. Pete, Pete likes you too. <laughs> I like Pete too. Thank you so much for the fish and for helping us get everything ready, up and running for our pond. Uh, I'm really excited to get the fish home. We will probably be back here next fall for some more rainbow trout. Um, if you ever want any fish, uh, live fish for a pond, come and talk to Lynn here because this was awesome. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Good luck. All right, let's get home. <laughs> I'm feeling like a Okay, so we're officially home. We've got a rubber net here and we are literally just going to scoop the trout with the net and put him right straight into the pond. The water temperature from his ponds is pretty much the exact same as the water temperature from our ponds, so there won't be a big shock. 
Uh, and luckily, because it is cold out, the, the trout have done pretty well, especially with our aeration system. So let's get these guys into the pond. I got Claire here. When I catch a fish, I'm gonna hand her the net, and she's gonna go put it in the pond. There you go. Take it, take it, take it. Go, 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 go. This net's not very big. Okay, I'm gonna get them in the pond. They're pretty big, guys. This one is a female. Do we have any males this year? There you go. And there she goes. One down, 18 to go. Because we got an odd number of fish. Oh, I got two this round. Can you get two? I don't think that's a good idea. You'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be okay. They might flip out of the They won't flip. There's lots of net. Here. This is where I want to be. All right, well, we lost Claire about halfway through, but we have officially stocked our pond with trout. They got home safe thanks to Lynn and our big tank. And now we have a more diverse fishery for the ice fishing season. We've got bluegill, we've got the big trout, and we've got bass, which we probably won't target throughout the ice fishing season. Hope you guys enjoyed this pond stocking video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. We will see you next time.